Good morning, Saskatoon. Do you remember when Prairieland Park said that they were having a hard time with racing and that there was no money in it and it's a losing venture? So they uh, couldn't run racing last year because of COVID. There was no way to simulcast. So they had to scrub the whole year. And then this year they needed less days racing than would be viable for local horse people to make a living. So then all of a sudden they just canceled it and just suddenly have a plan to have a soccer field, which must have been in the works for a while. Well, it's interesting because this weekend they started standard bred racing, which has been near 4,000 days since Saskatoon's ever seen that. They brought them back out of Manitoba to race in Saskatoon to no crowds to, so that they could simulcast. Somehow they figured out how to do that so that they can keep their gambling license and make their money on gambling while not supporting local agriculture. What's interesting is right beside that, there was the Métis Days going on at uh, Western Development Museum. A really nice event, by the way. Actually, I thought it was really well done. I saw a part of it. But uh, I noticed that the stage equipment was all from Prairie Land Park, it looked like, all the cases. And they claim they don't do work off their site, and that isn't their site. So they're running a commercial rental business, or are they doing commercial AV work off their site like they say they're not? And uh, when they have people off their site, they don't have a business license, they don't pay commercial taxes, they don't pay property taxes, and they don't pay income taxes because they're a not-for-profit and yet they're taking jobs away from people in our society and our city that do pay these things. Mayor Clark was up there filling his face with the food event on the stage and you know proud to promote himself with the Métis. Meanwhile he's not going to do anything about Prairie Land Park because that'd be counterproductive. Neither will the councillors that pay to be members of Prairie Land Park personally pay and they're supposed to uphold the, the, the values of Prairie Land Park and to promote it as part of their membership vow. So when they vote for city council and they don't excuse themselves, who are they benefiting? You or Prairie Land Park? Because right now Prairie Land Park is going to be coming looking for millions and millions of dollars from you. And I think you better start waking up to the fact that they're not being honest. Councillors are being unethical. And this whole thing stinks of impropriety. And I'd like you to start paying attention. Care about agriculture, care about businesses in our city. Prairie Land Park should exist, but they should exist within the rules and they've been allowed to go past them for too long. Thank you, have a good day.